Hey everyone, it's Natty. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to share with you my plant room and all the plants that are inside right now. It seems like I shouldn't have any more left from all the other ones outside. If you haven't seen, I did put up a video showing all my outside plants. And here's the indoor ones. But, so this is the Sansevieria, you guys, that I potted up with you. Um, what's going on right here? There's a flower stalk coming up and out. Isn't that great? Everybody else, I don't know if they're healthy or not. Someone mentioned that the perlite is poisonous to Sansevieria. Uh, I don't know. So everything else seems to be okay. There's new growth in everything. Uh, there too. It's hard to see my grow lights are making it a little bit awkward, but anyway, so you know what? Maybe I'll just turn those off for just a second. Is that a little better maybe? Okay, so here we are. Here's the plant shelf. So mostly what I have inside, you guys, are just all my little babies. So these obviously are growing very well my stem cuttings growing, growing, growing. This one's got a big baby right there. This is actually my mom's that she had me cut for her. It was two-headed and growing all curved. So we chopped her down and she has rerooted and she is ready to go back to my mom. And look at these, this is my raindrop babies. Look, this one finally got some raindrops on it. But they still don't look very good. And I don't get it. Oh, so frustrating. There's some more raindrop babies. Still no raindrops. These guys not growing anything yet, but they will. And then just some more babies here more babies in here. Oh, my moon cactus does not look good, but I don't know. There's these guys. This stem is starting to rot. I think she's done. She's given me so many cubic frost babies. I think the stem is a gunner now, but I need to take those babies off of there and throw it away. My Pearl von Nuremberg here and I think this is a dusty rose down here. Looking pretty. And then again, more propagations. This is actually one that I had chopped. Uh, this is the middle section. The bottom is, well, it's down below. I'll show you in a minute. Okay, so there's this one. It's got two new growths right there. These guys are babies that I pulled off of mama and again stem cutting she's got two babies big old babies growing this again is a lumpy one so you can see the leftover lumps here so the top part I showed you if you didn't see in my last video it's outside no lumps no lumps anyway these guys, so there's one that I chopped, this one, another lumpy one. That one hasn't rooted yet, I don't think. Let's look, actually. Nope, nothing. That's all right. And my gaster aloe, oh, isn't that cool? So pretty, I love you. And then just some more stuff in here. The Black Knight. No, Black Prince. I always get those mixed up. Black Prince. And then this stuff. The, I have some of this outside and it looks so pretty. And here's the other parts of the one of my mom's right here. So here's the other head I chopped. And here's the body. See, here's one of the places where I chopped. And right here. As you can see, it was growing really weird. It's finally getting a new growth right there so yay and this is another one of her my mom's that I had chopped this is the middle section it rooted and has grown lots of babies and just puffed out a ton 
succulent tray of babies that are doing their thing. I pick a plant. Um, it could look better. It has looked better, but it could look worse because the other part died. So these are okay. My starfish sensivaria, beautiful. This stuff, I don't remember what it's called, but, oh, sorry. And a castaria back there. That's the mama where I took the baby off. And this, my friends, is my mom's. Look how fat each of these leaves are. Oh my gosh. So this is the top part that I chopped. The bottom I've already given back to her and it grew a ton of babies. It looks amazing. This propeller plant. My Delta Lights Aloe. Oh gosh, this thing is so pretty. Oh, that skin is so cool. It's like lizard skin or something. And then these guys, more raindrop babies. Once again, without raindrops. This little cactus. doing great but look so this one is the bottom of this and this is the middle and then the top is in a different spot so it's got new growth everywhere so yay and more babies back there so look at that it's starting to get the little red color too it's so cute And more my big bowl of succulents I did it's been in here it probably needs to be repotted up you guys I think this one actually needs to go outside everything's looking a little bit sad it, this light it's under I don't think it's strong enough especially for summer growth I think summer growth they need a lot more light than what these things can give at least my grow lights anyway so I'm gonna take this guy outside too And these guys, my Cameroni babies, the mom I had to throw away because she had alomite. And I don't know if these have rooted. They're kind of, I don't know what they're doing. And my money tree. Pilea, Dracaena, Marginetta, Marginata. And then these guys that I just repotted. If you hadn't seen, there's a video up on this. And, oh yeah, so this is my Hoya Wayerii that I had ordered online. It finally rooted and she's, I potted her up a few weeks ago. She has not gotten any new growth yet, but I have faith that she will grow and be beautiful. Here's Sensibaria cylindrica, just hanging out there. Hoya obovata, spider plant, and another spider plant. So there's those guys. And then just this one, it's always the same, just doing our thing. And then these guys are actually ones I just potted up. This one and that one. This is the pothos cutting that came with my Hoya Wayetii cutting. Um, Mama spider plant. Doing great. She's still got a lot of babies coming off of her. And then that's another silver pothos. Hanging out. And then I have a string of hearts here cuttings that I had done water propagation and I hang on those in here and isn't that cute oh my gosh oh and I have so this is all that's left of my water propagation now since I potted up all the rest of my other ones of course more string of hearts because who doesn't want a million string of hearts they're beautiful this one had broken off no I cut it off no I cut it that's right and it was not rooting so it's it's back in water again. It went from water to dirt, back to water, 
over the past four months, five months, six months, I don't even know. And then more silver bottles, because why not? So here are my kitchen shelves. It's hard to get the light right because the windows, but Boy is on this shelf. Pothos. And a Hoya on that end, the Pupacolics. And then my Peperomia, which by the way is blooming up a storm, although the blooms are not gorgeous, but I mean she's happy, right? Look at all those blooms. One, two, three, four, five, six blooms. Pot of a bunch of stuff, palm, calicoe, and a couple other things I can't remember what all these things are made of. And here are my windowsill plants. My beans, look at my beans. Are they pretty? Four babies. babies. Look at this guy. This Haworthia right here. Four babies. Cubic frost babies. So there's a bunch of different ones in here. I don't know. I can't remember all of them. But look at all of them. There's so many. And the cubic frost babies, look how fat. I took out a couple of them though and gave them away. They were getting quite large. And then these guys. So cute. So pretty string of pearls. And then I do have a few cacti left in the house. That I have not taken outside. This is my daughter's plant. <laughs> look what I got. It's a samurai. Look at that though. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, it's so cute. It's got new growth in the middle. Yay. So I have these cacti still in the house. Have, I'm deciding whether or not to put them out, but they're my, some of my more special ones, I guess. I don't know, but they're all looking good. So they're inside. This one, um, Old lady cactus. Oh, she's so pretty. She's so fat. She's grown quite a bit. And then this one, my copper king, I believe. And it's, it looks like it's dying. I don't know. It's like shriveling up on top. I don't know. This stuff. And then more babies, you guys. This is just full of babies here. Except this pearl. Isn't she gorgeous? She's so pretty and so pristine. I don't dare to even take her outside because I don't want her to get damaged. All these babies. What in the world am I going to do with all of these babies? I do not know. My jade. My iodiums, I have them inside because they are winter growers and I don't want them to shrivel up in the heat, which they are starting to lose their bottom leaves. so. I'm sure anytime soon they're gonna like crinkle into a little bud. Here's one of the tops of my Crassula, the variegated one. This is the first top that I cut off and it's rooted and very healthy. And the second one is the one I just did because look how cute. She has not rooted because I just cut her like three days ago. But look what she grew. So I had to chop the top because isn't that adorable? Oh, so cute. The chalk sticks, struggling, struggling, struggling. Watch chain, Crassula. Baby necklace. Oh, Crassula, just Echeverius, I don't know, Burl's tail. Lots of different stuff. Look at that. 
powder puff, I think. Oh, she's so pretty. This guy. Look at all this. He's growing up. What are you doing? Just growing like that? Being so cute. Got all these new ones on top that are growing like crazy. And this stuff. All the bottom parts of this are all brown and dying, but there's new growth on top, so I'm guessing they're okay. I don't know. And then my aloe, fan aloe, it's not a very good picture, has got so much new growth, you guys. It's like packed in here. There's no room for it to grow up. I mean, come on, look at that. Look at all the new growth in there. There's so much. So, I don't know what I can do to help her spread her wings, but, oh, she's amazing. So much, so much in there. Um, this stuff, you guys, I ended up chopping this all and um, it's got new growth and all the new growth is fine. It doesn't have the weird stuff. I think I just let it get too dry and it burnt in the sun. My burrow's tail still looking amazing. And then again, string of pearls looking great as well. And I just have string hearts right here. She's pretty happy right here, I think. And then my orchid cactus. Growing like crazy. And my Hoya Hindu rope. She's got lots of new growth too. No peduncles, but still growing, so that's good, right? Now we're in the bathroom, and this is my Polly, my Alocasia Polly. She's lost several leaves. All her lower leaves have died off. This uh, one right here is her newest leaf. It's really pretty, pretty, pretty. It kind of deformed on the one side. Never really opened all the way up for some reason, but that one looks good. And that one's a damaged one, but all the other ones have died off, sadly. And here's my Alocasia uh, serendipity. And this, let's see. Is this one the newest one? Maybe not. Here's this one. Maybe it's this one. I don't know, but anyway. I can't tell. Oh, I think it's this one. Anyway, she's so pretty. Oh, she's gorgeous. I think this... Lower leaf right here is on its way out the door though. Doesn't look very happy, but she's a beautiful plant, beautiful color. And here's this Hoya. She's growing like crazy, so healthy. Now she's got a strand that's going straight up, which is fine. Sansevieria cylindrica, asparagus fern, Rubber tree, shooting star Hoya, which they're saying it may not be a Hoya. I don't know, but it's got new growth. My orchid is doing well. My frizzle sizzle is still frizzled out. But look at this. Did you guys know that these guys bloom? This little baby bloom. Isn't that adorable? So she had one that poked, that was grew right here. And every day there would be a new bloom opening up and then it would drop off. It only lasted a few hours. Sorry about the noise. And then, and then the, so this one's already bloomed and it fell out. And then this one, and it looks like the next one's here. And this looks like another bloom stalk growing. And there's another bloom stalk here. And a new leaf growing right there. And this leaf has yellowed and I don't know what I did to that one, but everybody else is 
fun, but it looks like they're shooting another leaf out right here as well. So yay. So that's the bathroom. Oh, and then the main Hoya Obavada is growing too, doing well. So that's the bathroom. And I believe that's it for my indoor plants. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you have any questions or if you have answers for me about plants, uh, feel free to leave me a comment. I hope you have a wonderful week and thank you so much for watching.